Okay, uh, uh, let's see. Larry, 100 bucks. Thank you, Larry. With socialists and progressives, rich people are always looked towards badly. Why are successful people vilified and blamed for society's ills? Well, because of envy. And it's, again, it's not just socialists and progressives. I mean, Trump barely reduced the top marginal tax rate. He actually advocated for increasing it. It's only others, other Republicans who insisted on it. Generally in our society, the rich are vilified. And the rich are vilified primarily because the rich are viewed as, I wish they were, but viewed as self-interested, selfish. How do you succeed in life? By focusing on you, by being ambitious, by working hard, by uh, making it, you know, by, by, by trying, by trying to make your life better, by being self-interested. That's how you succeed in life. And everybody knows that. And there is a deep moral resentment, which I think at the end of the day is at the heart of envy, that comes from altruism. Remember, altruism says your moral duty, your moral responsibility is to serve others, to live for others. Self-interest is immoral by its very nature, according to altruism. So rich people are immediately immoral. Their success taints them. So yes, you could say envy, 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 but envy doesn't explain anything. Not enough. Why? Why is there so much envy? Because that is the product of, ultimately, it's a psychological product of altruism. So the reason at the bottom of this is altruism. And the reason they can get away with it. Why is there nobody objecting? Why is there nobody defending the rich? And when I defend the rich, I'm called, what, a pawn of the corporations, a pawn of the wealthy, a pawn of big tech, right? I have to be ridiculed. I have to be put down because nobody will defend the rich. Why? Because we're trained to be altruists. We're trained to think that morally the good means others. The good means benefit to others. And if you're not sacrificing for other people, then you're not being good. And if you're making gazillions of dollars and you're keeping it, then you're not being good. So fundamentally, the resentment of the rich comes from the fact that they're viewed as being self-interested. And we hate and resent self-interested people because of the morality of altruism that dominates our world. Thank you, Frank, for reminding me that they call me a bootlicker. That's very nice of you. Um, you know, Ayn Rand talks about this a lot. I mean, she talks about the fact that the world is dying from an orgy of envy, of, sorry, an orgy of altruism. Now, if you believe in altruism, and as a consequence of that, you have never been ambitious. You have never pushed yourself. You have never done the things that are going to make you rich. But you have been good. You've been altruistic, at least a little bit. Well, the result of that is going to be envy. You're going to look at these rich, self-interested people who are, seem to be happy and enjoying their wealth, seem to be doing well. You're poor and miserable, or middle class and miserable, whatever. Because you've been an altruist, because you've been a good altruist, you're miserable. And you feel envious. You hate them. What do you hate them for? For being self-interested. For being successful. For being ambitious. That's why Ayn Rand defines envious hatred of the good for being the good. Not the good by the standard of altruism. But the good by our standard. Uh, it was Vosh who called me a bootlicker. But I've seen it, I've seen it all over the place, including for people on the right who, who, when I defend big tech, I see the same kind of terminology. So, um, Larry, that's why. They hate the rich for their success because it's immoral in their minds because of the morality of altruism. And that 
breeds envy, and envy is hatred of the good for being the good, which means hatred of self-interest, hatred of success, hatred of production. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see The Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.